guys, okay. So speaking of Eddie Munson, the Eddie Munson character, and um, and uh, Stranger Things. I mean, obviously, it, it is crazy because when it comes to when it comes to these characters that they introduce in these seasons for for Stranger Things. I mean, there's been, of course, like Sean Astin. He played that one character. There's been, of course, um, what's her name in the in the first season. There's been characters, side characters that aren't part of the main cast that get killed in this series. That we kind of like, oh man, I like that. I like that character, and then they get offed within that season. So naturally, we thought, okay, Eddie was going to get off too. I mean, especially when you see a story arc, you kind of go, yeah, I could see him sacrificing himself, which he essentially does. Okay, and spoilers for anybody who hasn't seen Stranger Things season four yet, but um, I have a feeling that he's coming back, just because talking with people who are familiar with the Dungeons and Dragons lore that this is that this story is kind of based off of and what they play also in the series there is a character you know the Vecna character has a right-hand man who ultimately became his betrayer which means he killed him and his name is Cass the blood bloody handed a vampire whose sword is the sword of Cass is also an artifact okay so I'm thinking hey Eddie died Right. But what did he die? How did he die? He died because he got attacked by bats. Bats could turn people into vampires, essentially. Right. So I'm thinking maybe Eddie's going to be coming back as this kind of character. And the fact that he's such a fan favorite, I would not be surprised that the Duffer brothers are like, hey, that's a good way to bring him back. Or maybe they already had it in their heads that that's going to be the case. That's right. So. We'll see, but I'm thinking he's going to be back. People love this guy way too much, this character. He's very likable. 